As part of an initiative to expand the cheetah matter population and to reintroduce cheetahs to a former rain state following their local extinction due to overhunting and loss of habitat in the last century, on February 17, 12 cheetahs arrived from South Africa to India. They will join the other eight mammals that project cheetah, the first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project in history relocated from Namibia to India's Kunu National Park last year. Following the import of the 12 cheetahs, it is intended to relocate 12 more animals yearly for the following 8 to 10 years. The cheetah is the world's fastest mammal and is endemic to the savannas of Africa. The word cheetah is said to have originated from the Sanskrit term chitrak, which means the spotted one. While Southern Africa is the cheetah's original stronghold, it is designated in Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora as vulnerable. Even though it went extinct long before the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 was even drafted, the cheetah is classified in Schedule 2 of the statute. The cheetah was declared extinct in India in 1952. A plan to reintroduce cheetahs was approved by India's then Environment Minister in 2009, but the Supreme Court rejected it in 2013. The government revived the concept in 2017 and the Supreme Court approved the action in 2020 on an experimental basis. Five female and three male Southeast African cheetahs that were a gift from the Namibian government were released at the Kuno National Park in the state of Madhya Pradesh in September 2022. Additionally, 12 more cheetahs from South Africa were recently released, increasing the total number of African cheetahs in Kuno to 20. Why was Kuno National Park chosen for cheetah reintroduction? Semi-arid grasslands and woodlands that span Gujarat, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh are the home to both cheetah and Asiatic lions. The rainfall temperature and altitude of the Shiopur district where Kuno is situated are equivalent to those of South Africa and Namibia. A variety of prey species may be found in Kuno including wild pigs, sambur and nilgai. The purpose of the transfer is to establish a matter population of cheetahs that will help with both the worldwide conservation of the species and the restoration of India's historical evolutionary equilibrium. The ecosystems of India's open forest and grasslands will be restored with the aid of cheetahs. Protecting biodiversity and enhancing ecosystem services like water security and soil moisture conservation will benefit society as a whole. As a consequence of this effort, the local populace would have better livelihood opportunities through eco-development and ecotourism programs, which is consistent with India's commitment to environmental preservation and wildlife protection. Associated risk of translocation It is difficult to find genetically suitable animals, particularly to build a new population. This can lead to inbreeding and depression in the new population of cheetahs. To guarantee the habitat in the wild, the cause of the species' extinction must be addressed before relocation. According to the experts, the top priority should be physical security, an appropriate space and plenty of food. Cheetahs will continue to be vulnerable to the environmental and demographic calamities because a fractured landscape can lead to habitat fragmentation. It is necessary to develop a suitable monitoring plan under veterinarian supervision and to evaluate the degree of adaptation scientifically. To keep tabs on the condition of cheetahs and other carnivores that can be found in the wild, a crew should be stationed there. Along with that, various outreach and awareness events should be run to familiarize the locals with the reintroduction strategy to spread awareness among the residents and sensitize the youth. The protection of native species and their habitat should get equal consideration and to maintain the safety and satisfaction of the locals, it is important to develop a proper rehabilitation policy that involves proper communication between the administrative officers and the residents. Let's try a few questions now. Asiatic cheetah is classified as dash species by the IUCN Red List since 1996. Options are extinct in the wild, endangered, Vulnerable, critically endangered. The correct answer is critically endangered. Next question. Tropical dry deciduous forests occur in India in dash. Options are Eastern Himalayas, Madhya Pradesh, Andaman, Kerala. 
The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh. So that's all for the video. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.